Hey everyone, welcome back. Mark here again. Uh, think you can't code? No problem. Watch me build a professional tool, CRM tool without writing a single line of code using two free AI tools that are revolutionizing development. And the best part, the whole thing will cost me less than a pack of gum. Heck, it'll even cost me less than the change I found on the street today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of our videos and please let me know what you think down below in the comments also if you're new here thank you for coming and watching you can also watch our playlist of my 30-day ai challenge up above you can download my free ai checklist below hey everyone today i'm super excited to share something that is absolutely game changing especially if you've ever felt intimidated by coding I mean, I've taken some coding classes, but not many. And it's just basic Python, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you how to combine two incredible tools, DeepSeek version 3 and Klein, which can help anybody, regardless of their coding experience to build professional applications. Let me break this down why this is such a huge game changer. DeepSeek version 3 isn't just another AI model. It's like having a professional developer right at your fingertips and actually outperforming some of the biggest names like AI's ChatGPT, 4, uh, Claude, 3.5, Sonnet, and others. What's even more amazing is it's super affordable. We're talking about pocket change here. 10 times less expensive than the other models. But hold on, what if I told you in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to build a complete CRM app without touching a single line of code. And trust me, if you can write a message, you can do this. Here's why it's really getting me excited. I'm gonna walk you through the combination of Klein and DeepSeek, as well as VS Coding, or Coder, sorry. And that, that's what you're seeing in the background here is VS Coder. And we're gonna make a professional application. I'm, I'm genuinely excited to show you how to do this. And remember, you don't need to be a coding expert. These tools design, are designed to make and develop this for everybody. It can't be even, it can't be any easier or beginner friendly. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Oh, a quick tip. All right, so we have Klein right here and we can go ahead and look up here. Right now I have DeepSeek in here, but if you wanna do it completely free, you can go use Gemini Google or Google Gemini and pick their latest version, experimental, I think that's the latest one right there, and it would do it for free. But today we're actually gonna use DeepSeek because that's what I was talking about. You can add custom instructions and different things like that here. And this is your client. Once you get it installed, it'll come up here on your v VSC. And we'll go ahead and hit done. Now, I went ahead and opened up this Window, basically all you need to do is open folder from file, open recent, where is it? Open file. And then when you open the file, you click on the file you wanna open and it comes up here. All right, now what I would do from here is I need to go ahead and add in our prompt. And our prompt, I'm gonna make it pretty simple here. So let's say, Please build me a simple CRM that allows the user to add clients, projects, and track payments they receive. Okay, simple as that, and we'll let it go. Now, it won't take too long, hopefully, here. It's got to think about what's going on. I am using DeepSeek. So you're going to see the API cost right up here as it goes. Um, I'm, not, I'm not typing anything. Boy, if I could type that fast, that'd be wonderful. But yeah, I can't, I can't type that fast. So first thing it's doing is it's setting up the index HTML. That's going to be the background for it all. The main interface, as it tells you right here. And then it's going to do some CSS styling. I'm going to scroll back up here so we can see. Uh, the JS script uh, for the core and then the readme documentation. So right now it's working on the styling. So to make it look pretty. 
basically. Uh, list clients for projects. Okay, now it's going. On. Now I'll create the JS script, and it's doing that on its own again. You can see I'm not moving anything, not doing anything, and this is real time as I'm talking here. It's not taking too long. So I'm guessing this whole process is going to take maybe three, four minutes, and hopefully it comes out perfect. We'll see what happens here. Um, if not, we just tell it to fix the problem. All right, now the JS, JS script looks like it's done with that. API request, it's checking some more information. But if we look right now, it's less than a cent so far, which is pretty incredible. Still less than a cent. All right, Klein, now it's doing the readme file, and it looks like that's done. Let's see what happens here. It should be almost done with everything. Yep, there we go. Simple CRM, add client's name, email, phone number, project. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Run command. And it should pop up here. Start it up. There it is. Wow, okay. So we have the client's name, phone number, add a client, add the project, add payments. Now, if we wanted to do any additional things, we could change this. So let's come back here. And let's go ahead and continue with this. Please make each section such as the client page, the project page, and the, uh, what's that called, payment page separate. and create a main dashboard to have an overview of all the information. I mean, this is, this is not necessary, but I just want to show you how easy you can adjust things within the actual program. Again, okay, so it's all right. Well, I'll add those extra things in there, and here it goes. It's adding that, moving some things around. Uh, I just wanted to show you this. I didn't need to do this, but I wanted to show you how easy it was. Again, I'm not typing anything. I'm letting it build it out, and it'll build those pages here. All right, next, I'll add the client's page, client's information functionality. Okay, great. And the other thing is, this is with DeepSeek, and so far we're still at three-tenths of a penny. So it's so affordable, it's it's absolutely incredible. All right, now creating the projects HTML page. So this is the second page, the projects page. We have the clients, if we look up here, we have the index, that's gonna be our home page. We have the clients page, we have the projects page. And now it's gonna go ahead and create the payments page. And that's doing that nicely. And let's see what happens here. All right, so we're almost at half a cent total spent for this project. So you can't complain about that at all. So it's not free, but it's nearly free. Again, you can do this all completely free using Gemini from Google, because that's a completely free API. Um, let's see here, now it's working on the styling, it looks like. Yeah, so the styling, making sure it all looks the same across the board, lists cards and responsive design okay so i didn't even have to tell it to make a responsive design uh, most people want the their projects to be responsive all right crm manage we're all right now it's just finishing up the js script uh handle the core functionality across all pages so it brings it all together and we'll have a nice dashboard statistics let's see how this goes it's almost done it looks like getting excited <laughs> it's really nice to get this done easily so you know not having any coding is not your any coding experience or anything like, like that is a terrible excuse it's not something that um, we should look at and say hey that's our problem it's not a problem all right here's the final updating the readme file coding it's you know i, I was planning on taking more and more coding classes, but the reality is you don't need to anymore. You can get this all done through AI. All right, there we go. So let's see what it looks like now. It'll, there we go. Let's run the command. All right, 
So here's the update. Wow. Okay. So we have the dashboard, recent activity, nothing on it. We have the clients. So we can add client and then the client list down here. So if I say go, whoops, go Smith is our client. His email is go at, at go.com. All right. That's fine.com. And his phone number is 555-555-5555. Add the client and look at that. There's the information right there. Uh, projects. I would type in the project, the description. I select my client. Oh, I got to have that working. But you can see how quickly I can add this up. Now, if I wanted to make it prettier, change colors or anything like that, what I like to do, let's, let's go ahead and refresh that. It should have the client list in there now. No. Okay. So there's some things. This was the original one that it came up with, right? Now, there are some problems with it, but we can easily just tell it what the problem is and it'll easily fix it. So that's just using DeepSeek. And look, our total cost was less than one cent. If that's not incredible, I don't know what it is. All right. So some quick tips that I, that I wanted to talk about is I have it set for auto approve. So I went ahead and clicked on that. If you want to take a look at the, the things that I did, I clicked on all of it. Just let it go. It, it's going to know better than me. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that and you want to approve everything, if you understand coding, then that's up to you. All right. Remember to grab all your links in the resources below from the description. And hey, if you're finding value in this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, as well as leave a comment. Stay creative, keep exploring, and I'll catch you in the next one.